So, you've seen all those YouTube polyglot videos where someone speaks six languages to different groups of people. You want to be like them, don't you? How can they even keep up with all those languages? Maybe you're already learning a language or two, but you don't do much to practice. Suddenly, an evil wizard pops up and throws you in the middle of Albania. You're unable to speak to anyone there and you have to go hungry because you couldn't request any for guests. If only you'd kept on practicing your ability to speak Albanian, you might have had a meal for that night. But how could you possibly have the time to practice? You work for 56 hours a day and you only have 30 minutes of free time each day. Well, keeping a journal might be the solution for you. Now, there are plenty of benefits to journaling, but we're not talking about gratitude or stoic journaling. Oh no, we're talking about journaling for your survival. If that previous hypothetical scenario were to take place. That other type of journaling might be its own video in the future. Right now, we're talking about keeping a journal for your language abilities. What are some of the benefits of keeping a journal for a target language? The most obvious benefit to keeping a language journal is that you're practicing what you've learned. It's also a good way to document your progress since you can see how what you've been writing has an increase in complexity. Maybe at the beginning you started off with sentences like, Ni li li pumi, this is my book. Eventually, you might start writing things like, Tempo suno pini la, mi lon tomo esun. Tomo esun la, mi esun e len sin. Len ni li pona mute. Len ni li pona taba so li tomo mi. Yesterday, I went to the store. In the store, I bought new clothing. The clothing is very good. My dog really likes the clothing. Okay, maybe you wouldn't write something like that, but you get the idea. There are other benefits though. Let's say you're learning a dead language like Latin, Ancient Greek, Old English, or Sanskrit. Unless you're in a school setting, you're pretty much just reading material. That's great and all, but some of us want to strengthen our ability to generate new things in the target language. Unless you find a Discord server or a community of people in your area who speak that target language, you're mostly going to be restricted to reading and maybe listening. Keeping a journal helps with your ability to create new speech and even to think in the language. I have a journal for Tokipona, and if I didn't have it, I don't think I would be able to use Tokipona that well. Another benefit of the journal is if you're of the introverted variety or you're just a little nervous. Maybe you don't want to go and speak to random people in a language you're just learning and might make mistakes using. Well, a journal will strengthen your abilities without the need for human interaction this early on. Though, you should go and speak to people since that's the main reason why people learn languages, apart from reading. So, how does this work? Well, find any kind of notebook you have lying around. That will be your journal. Make sure you can identify it in some way. After that, you just write in it. I'd recommend writing at least one page a day, only in the target language. Since you want to get the most out of the journal, we shouldn't just be writing in it. You should try reading it aloud to enhance your pronunciation and read previous entries for reading. What about listening, you may ask? Well, we can improve that too. Since you're able to watch this video, it's pretty safe to assume that you have some kind of technological device. This device probably has some sort of audio recording capabilities on it as well. So, while you read your current journal aloud, record it. Save it in a folder for recorded journal entries to save for later. Now, you can go back and listen to the previous recordings and get used to listening in the language. Preferably, you use older recordings so that it's not as fresh in your mind. Maybe you can even try testing yourself on them if you want to test your comprehension skills. While reading your journal aloud helps with pronunciation, sadly it doesn't help with generating new speech. If you want, you can record yourself just speaking in the target language in addition to the journal. That way, you have the journal to focus on reading and writing, and you have the audio or video recordings to focus on speaking and listening. Or, you can combine them so that the listening and pronunciation overlap between the two. Also, you don't have to stick to the Dear Diary type journals either. If you want to write about your thoughts on what your favorite language is, that's just fine. It's your journal, write whatever you like in it. Alright, those are just a few ways in which a language journal can be helpful, and just one way you can use it. Feel free to change things as you like. It's your journal, not mine. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Writing in a journal is just one way that I have used to get better at a target language. I hope you have fun learning your target language, however you want to learn it. Anyway, tell your dog I said hi. Wait, I didn't say hi to your dog at the beginning of the video. Uh... Okay, I finally feel like I'm getting back on track with the channel. I know my content has not been very focused, but I'm still diversifying and trying to see what people like. I might focus a little more, but I'll never focus on just one area like Tokipona or Rome. My eventual goal is to have this channel dedicated to polymathy, and most of my videos will help with that in some way. I hope it's apparent that this is the connection between all the topics my videos have covered. They're all related to education and studying multiple things. I don't really know what the next video will be. I have a few ideas floating around and a new one might come up soon. So, stay tuned for whenever I make my mind up on that. Alright, that's all.